It is not possible to determine from the external appearance of a product whether it was produced in accordance with GMP guidelines. The product may contain unwanted substances which the eye cannot detect and there is also the possibility that a mix-up may have occurred. For this reason, raw materials, workrooms and equipment, for example, are inspected before being used. Further checks are carried out during and after preparation. It is not possible to detect microorganisms with the naked eye. They multiply in damp, warm and dark environments, for example in the pores of skin, under fingernails or in certain parts of equipment. If a nutrient medium is applied to a surface, bacteria will adhere to it. The nutrient medium is then placed in an incubator. After a few days, the microorganisms will have multiplied and can be recognized by the naked eye in the form of a colony of cells. Microorganisms spread easily via dirt, dust, air, clothing and work materials. For this reason, special measures must be taken to prevent too many microorganisms ending up in the medicine. Cross-contamination is the contamination of one product with another. This can occur in situations where, for example, a container or a piece of sampling equipment is badly cleaned. You can easily move product from one area to another through your clothing. Employees play a very important role in the prevention of contamination. Firstly, by wearing regulation work clothing, by washing their hands before and after eating, before and after going to the toilet, and before and after working. If you are ill, first consult your supervisor. If you have certain illnesses, you are not permitted to work in every room. To restrict the presence of microorganisms, materials used during production and testing of aseptic products are sterilized when possible. Sterilization will kill all microorganisms. Work materials which cannot be sterilized are disinfected. It may also be necessary to disinfect work materials during work. Follow the procedures carefully. These describe which type of cleaning agent you must use, what dosage is required, and how long the product must be allowed to take effect. 